Hello everyone. Over the past couple of months, I've been working on the smooth voxel terrain system in Godot. Voxel terrains are fascinating because they allow for unique terrain features such as overhangs and caves. However, they require memory skills cubically with the terrain radius. Therefore, if we want a smooth large-scale voxel terrain, we need a complex set of algorithms. How can we define a surface in a volume? We can use sine distance fields, or SDFs, which are functions that describe the distance to an implicit surface at every position. These functions are known for many primitive shapes, such as spheres and planes. Moreover, they can be combined using Boolean operations to create complex combinations. However, SDFs still have to be rendered to the screen. As our desired product is a terrain rendered in real time with collisions, our preferred method would be isosurface extraction. These are algorithms that create a triangle mesh that best approximates the implicit surface described by our SDF. But how do we solve the issue of cubic scaling? We can sample the SDF at a higher resolution, close to the surface, and at a lower resolution, far away from the surface. A data structure that facilitates this is an octree. It partitions the space within the bounds of a node into eight equally sized smaller nodes. By only subdividing nodes that are close to the implicit surface, we can dramatically reduce the memory complexity of a large voxel terrain. Moreover, we can decide to subdivide the octree less with respect to the distance to the camera. This can be used to more cheaply generate lower detail meshes further away which also benefits render time. The act of rendering lower resolution models at a distance is often referred to as level of detail, or LOD. It's a relatively simple but effective way to greatly improve performance in real-time rendering. There are many algorithms that can create a mesh based on an SDF, such as marching cubes and dual contouring. I chose to implement surface nets for its inherent simplicity and its applicability to nodes of different sizes, which is required to stitch chunks of different LODs together. SurfaceNets works as follows. First, we calculate intersections of the SDF surface with each grid line at a resolution determined by the octree node size. We can do this by checking if the sign between two grid points A and B is different, and if so, we calculate the point of intersection using T equals the absolute value of A divided by the sum of the absolute values of A and B. Finally, we linearly interpolate between the position of A and the position of B using T. Then, for each node, we average the neighboring edge intersection positions to get a single vertex position. Finally, for each edge that intersects, we add a quad between the vertices of the four nodes that share this edge. We are now left with a mesh that resembles the original implicit surface. To improve performance, we calculate the surface for small parts of the terrain individually, often referred to as chunks. This means terrain off screen doesn't have to be rendered, and when the terrain is edited, only the chunks close to the affected surface have to be recalculated, as opposed to the full terrain. Overall, I believe I have succeeded in creating a fully editable, large-scale smooth voxel terrain with perfect LOD transitions. It generates quickly at an acceptable resolution perfect for terrains. There are a number of extensions I am considering for this project. Firstly, I want to be able to populate the terrain with many objects such as trees that can be seen from afar. Secondly, I would like to implement a version of surface nets that guarantees manifold meshes. Thirdly, I would like to improve performance and make the whole process more efficient. For more technical information, please refer to the sources in the description.